to wipe or not to wipe? That is the question. What's up guys, Brunsnick's back. We're gonna talk about wiping the oil off your bowling ball. Does it make a difference and does it impact performance? That's what we're gonna look at. I got Specto running, we're gonna look at some of the numbers. I'm gonna throw some shots and we're gonna see if there is a difference between wiping the oil off your ball and not. Before we get to that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, let's take a look at wiping your bowling ball versus not wiping your bowling ball. All right, we're gonna talk about wiping the oil off your ball versus not. We're gonna start with urethane, then we're gonna go over the resin. So right now, just finished the test with the urethane ball. Still got some oil on there, so it's perfect to start by throwing it with oil on it and not wiping it. So I'm gonna throw a block of shots. Let's call it three shots. We're gonna look at the overall performance and look of the ball, and we're gonna see if there's any difference between wiping and not wiping. So let's go, let's try it out. Got my trusty black hammer here. Let's throw some shots. We're not gonna wipe it. All right. First shot out of the gate. Kinda got it out a little bit far wide. Wasn't my worst shot. It could have cut, a, cut in a little bit more, but that's the first shot. So just so I'm not tempted to use this thing, I'm just gonna kinda throw it over here. Let's see if we can't strike here. First shot was out a little wide. Let's try not to miss it wide. That's better. Okay. Light mixer. Mixer, I like mixer. All right, so I am team wipe. I always wipe my bowling balls. The only time I don't is if I'm shooting like a corner pin with my urethane. It's kind of a trick I do. So I'd always leave oil on my ball to promote skid. Hopefully that helps. Definitely some good oil on here. We're not gonna wipe it. Not even gonna do the shirt wipe either. All right, let's see if we can't get one flush or if it's just uh, gonna have trouble with it because of the oil. Hook. Okay. All right, we got three shots in there. And now we're gonna start wiping the ball with the chamois and see. And then we're gonna go over to resin. We'll throw three shots and then we'll wipe it for three and then we won't wipe it for three. I'll try to throw shots the same way, but this is kind of be more of like a visual to see if you can see a difference between them. So now we're gonna really wipe the oil off and try to throw everything the same and see if there's any difference or if the ball where I'm lined up at is just gonna go light mixer or if we see a little bit more hook and performance because you wipe it. Oop, that one hit a little bit more in the pocket where I've been kind of light mixer. That one picked up a little bit, it feel like. That one almost hooked back all the way. Let's try it again. Shot two, same spot. We've gone flush. We have gone flush, everyone. So I think we're already seeing it, but wiping your bowling ball with a urethane ball is extremely important. So important. And why is that? Because urethane balls, while they don't absorb oil, they do store oil very well in the shell. If you've ever bowled with a urethane ball, you got oil on it, you put it in your bag, you come back a week later, guess what? Probably still some oil on your ball, right? Because it has nowhere to go. It just sits on the surface, sits in all the peaks and valleys, and that's why you get weird readings when you durometer them with oil on it, with any kind of contaminant, even by rolling it on a lane. All right. One more shot. 
it's out wide. Oh, look at that. Okay. So I think we saw quite a bit of difference between a urethane ball when you wipe it versus not wipe. Now what happens if we switch to a ball that absorbs oil? For fun, we're gonna use the effect. The shiny ball, so is it gonna be a big difference? Because this ball now absorbs oil. And we're gonna see. So let's switch it over to this. We'll go wiping first, and then we'll go not wiping second. Let's see if I can get lined up with this one now. All right. Cover a little more boards. It moved about 10 left compared to that black hammer. What do you know? I'm lined up already. So easy to strike. All right, so we're gonna wipe this time first. Last time we didn't wipe first. This time we're wiping first. I said so. Yeah, definitely some oil coming off there, so we're in a good zone to test this. Let's throw another one. Not a big swing, but playing out over the middle where there's plenty of oil. And a two, and a one. Man, that ball's good. I can't say it enough. Effect, best ball 2024. I know, I know, it's only March, but hey, I know a few things about a few things. I'm Nick Stradamus, a bowling. But I didn't see that ball return coming, so gotta get a ball return. Shot three, wiping. Let's throw it. Let's, uh, let's get this flush hit going. Let's go. It's a little bit in. That's good. Up. Oh, it's good, I said. I got a little in. I thought I was going to ride the oil wave, but it goes. All right. So now I got oil on the ball. I'm going to throw three shots now. We're going to take this towel and just throw it it's gone no towel so now we got oil on the ball it will absorb over time so we'll be quick about it three shots let's see if we can't uh, see any difference with the resin ball so far I don't see a difference. We'll see. Now, it also depends how much oil you're bowling on. It'll be a lot more oil than I'm bowling on. I mean, this is only 22 units, 20 something units, 22, 23. So if you're bowling on a lot of oil, it can make a big difference with how much comes off your ball. So especially on a longer pattern, say you're getting close to like 30 units. All right, so there's still oil on the ball. Let's try it again. We're gonna at least try to get one shot in there in the middle. That's out wider. Okay. Kind of stomped at the line. That's a stomp and spray. Maybe that's gonna be my next t-shirt idea. Stomp and spray with a big sprinkler. Ah, I love coming up with ideas just out of the blue. You heard it here first, folks. Check out Inside Bowling for that shirt soon. Stomp and spray. Or hey, how about spray and pray? We'll have a couple of them. Stomp and spray, spray and pray with hands kind of praying. All right, third shot. Last one here. I really want to get this one in, see if it hooks on me early. Maybe. Oh, carry. <laughs> yeah, that was certainly closer and a, quite a bit of difference between going through the face and Kind of light mixer, you know, half pocket, messenger, but a lot of difference, I think, still. So, did I prove anything? I think so, I think we proved two things. I think with a urethane ball, if you want that ball to retain its early read in the lane, definitely wipe the ball. But, at the same time, if you need a little bit more length from your urethane ball, if you need the ball to get down a little bit more, 
and it's starting to roll early, you're starting to get a little bit later into the tournament or lanes or league or whatever, then don't wipe it. Give it a little bit more length. Also shooting spares going cross. Some people use urethane. I use urethane going at my spares cross lane. Don't wipe it. You don't need that ball to traction. You want that ball to skid a little bit more. And on a resin ball, I think when we got it to the dry, there wasn't a huge big difference like we saw with urethane, but I think we saw enough difference once we got it in the oil that it, it's better to wipe it. I think you're better off investing in a nice chamois by two because sometimes you lose them. Put your initials on them because they tend to walk away when you're at tournaments. You leave them in the set T area when you change lanes and all of a sudden they disappear. So that's all today. Hope you guys learned a little something between wiping and not wiping. What team are you on? Let me know. Do you wipe? Don't wipe. I'm team wipe. Talk to you guys soon. Please subscribe. As always, check out the merch inside bowling.com.